This week I want to talk to you about the importance of who you learn things from. Hi, I'm Larry Kay with ShadowAnyone.com and the creator of the Investigator's Ultimate Guide series, premium private investigator training from someone who's been there and done that. This is a key element. Who you learn from is very important. And this actually came to me to light. Um, I was online watching videos like a lot of us do and I was watching one and it was titled something about how to take a punch or how to take a punch better. And uh, this has always actually been one of my strong points uh, that I can take a punch pretty well. And you know, every now and then I have been hit. It hasn't happened in a while now, thank goodness. But I thought, well, what the heck, if I can learn a little bit better on how to take a punch, I might as well. And this very accomplished black belt uh, goes on to explain uh, something that, that never occurred to me in a million years. He, he said, you know, look, when people are training in the gym, when you're sparring with a partner, and, and you get hit, and you kind of take a bit of a, of a punch, uh, maybe it's a little harder than you thought, maybe you weren't expecting it, and you kind of go into the defensive position, and you kind of, oh, 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 hold up, hold up. And the sparring stops. You check, your partner checks you. You okay? I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to. I didn't think I was going to hit you that hard. I didn't see you coming in. And this trainer explains: Look, in real life, if you get hit like that, the other guy is not going to stop and check to make sure you're okay. He says, you know, the important lesson he wanted to teach was when you're sparring and you take that punch or that kick that you that's just normally you would stop and say if everything's okay, go on for another few moments at least before you stop. Get used to the idea that you're going to still have to stay defensive. Maybe you're going to have to throw some blows to distract your opponent, uh, but don't, you know, but go ahead and train like the real world. He says, you know, what happens a lot of times is people in the dojo train like this, and they get in the real world, and they're genuinely surprised when they're when they're hit strong, hit hard for the first time. I also know a, a police officer, excellent police officer. He's a field training officer for years. He would bring the new recruits out and work with them for months at a time before they were able to go out on their own. And uh, he and I had worked together for years, uh, and we've both been punched more times than you could count. And and he, he, he kind of, we were talking one night and he kind of laughed at him. He says, he's, it's so funny because now here, these are people out of the academy. They're cops on the street, albeit they're working under a, a field training officer. He says, the first time we get into it with someone, they get hit. Every one of them, they're stunned. They're, they're surprised. They just know, they, they've just never been hit in real life before. And, it, and it's kind of a funny thing. Okay, what does this have to do with you as a private investigator? Chances are you're not going to get hit. I hope you don't get hit. Uh, if you're a process server, there's a pretty slim chance. You know, I've had at least one guy I can think of take a swing at me and miss. Uh, it's unlikely you're actually going to be hit. But the key lesson, the thing I want you to think about here is who do you learn from? As someone who's been there and done that, it never occurred to me once in a million years that you would stop fighting after you got hit. The fact that this guy has to train people to keep fighting even after they get hurt just surprises me. And he's the only guy out there really that I've seen teaching this, that you know, if you're in a fight and you're injured, you have to keep going. He's certainly the only martial artist I, I know teaching this. There are some law enforcement trainers out there that are teaching this, and it's vitally important. As an investigator, it, I just want to share with you, I've talked about these things about going out and doing the work. Uh, you're going to come as an investigator up to dead ends. You're going to come to where you don't have a telephone number for someone and you really need it for a pretext you're going to use. Or you're going to lose somebody on surveillance and what do you do now? How do you report that to the client? What happens if you regain them? Uh, there's all sorts of things. How do you write your reports? You know, I had somebody contact me by email recently uh, who just, they were an investigator, just needed, you know, the sample reports that I have because that's vitally important. How do you set up your reports? How do you phrase certain things? Uh, it's all very important. And that's why you want to be learning from someone who's been there and done that. 
you know, you were an, honestly an investigator like myself who's been out there for years doing these things, who's come across all these little problems, who's, so, so to speak, been hit hard enough that I've been hurt, fought through it, so I know what the answer is. And, and I'm happy to sh I share that stuff with you here online, but I also want you to know it's covered in much more depth and specifically and chronologically as it should be covered in my specifically in my courses uh, in the investigators ultimate guide series so definitely take a look at those if you haven't been over to shadowanyone.com that's my blog that's where you can learn more information about these things uh, please check it out I think you're gonna enjoy what you find there and uh, look at the training material because it's taught by someone who's been there and done that this is the Larry K with shadowanyone.com remember do the right thing even if it's the hard thing.